Hi everyone, it's Ellen from Rhapsody Music Lessons, and we're going to have tutorials on the Merry Christmas Level 1A book for the beginning pianist. And we're going to start with Good King Wenceslas, which can be found on page three. And you're playing in middle C position. So what does that mean? Well, if you're at this point in your lessons, you probably know middle C is right in the middle of your keyboard. So if you were imagining that you were chopping your keyboard in half, just imagining it now, the C closest to the middle or closest to the name of your piano, if you've got a regular piano, this is a digital piano, so it's a little different, but the white key right before two black keys, that's always C, and this is the middle C. And when we play Good King Wenceslas, we have both of our thumbs on middle C. And just to review your finger numbers, thumbs are always one, two on the pointer, three on your tall finger, four on your ring finger, and five on your pinky. So thumbs are always one, one, two, three, four, five, okay? And they're going opposite directions, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now, you put your ones on middle C, and it, they are sharing this key, which feels a little bit odd, but that's okay. And when you first start this song, you're going to notice that your notes are written in the treble clef, which means they are right-hand notes. So you're going to start with your right hand, and once these notes drop down to bass clef, this is all left hand. And you'll also notice that the stems are pointing up to the sky for the right hand and down to the dirt for your left hand. Now, I'm just going to play this nice and slow, and you should get a pretty good idea of what to do with this piece. And I'm not going to play it moderately fast, but I will at the end. But for now, let's just take it nice and slow. I'm going to adjust my camera a little bit so you can see that my wrists... My wrists are not laying flat. Um, I, you don't want your wrists like this. You want your wrists to be up, nice and relaxed, but when you get a nice little curve going there underneath your hand, okay? Now, this is the right hand you're gonna have. Switch to the left, stay with the left. Then you repeat this, right hand, one, two, that's the left, stay with your left, one, two, one, two, right hand, pinky, go down, one step at a time, back to E, hold it for two, left hand, middle C, middle C, Stay with your left, last line, middle C, D, you're all right hand now, hold it for two, hold it for two, now, left hand comes in, plays middle C, holds it, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So my right hand came in while my left thumb was holding down this middle C. And what did it do? With fingers five and three, it played G and E, and you had this very pretty sound. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And never did my hands need to move from this position. They stayed in middle C position for the entire time. Both thumbs shared C, and I was able to play a whole song that way. Now I will bring the tempo up so you can hear what it will sound when you practice this over and over again, and then you'll, you'll have it down, no problem.
And that's it. I hope you found this helpful. This is on page three of the Alfred's Basic Piano Library Merry Christmas Level 1A book. All right, I will see you next time and we'll cover some more songs on this. Bye-bye.